technology and livelihood education, food processing, exploratory course for grade 7 and 8, module 7, based on MOS Essential Learning Competencies. Our topic is Observe Personal Hygiene and Good Grooming. Personal hygiene includes washing your hands, taking a bath every day, brushing and flossing your teeth. And good grooming includes showering and having neat hair, trim fingernails, and many more. Many people get sick due to improper hygiene and poor grooming. They tend to forget the importance of taking care of their health. This is actually the main reason why personal hygiene and proper grooming is taught for the people to realize that it helps prevent any kind of diseases and illnesses. It is also essential. GMP or Good Manufacturing Practices it is a system for ensuring the products are consistently produced and controlled to quality standards. Before we proceed to our lesson, what do you think is the difference between hygiene and sanitation? The following are the GMP requirements on personal hygiene. First is the health status. People known or suspected to be suffering from or to be a carrier of disease should not be allowed to enter any food handling area. It is likely that they could contaminate food. Any person so affected should immediately report illness or symptoms of illness to the management. Medical examination of food handler should be carried out if clinically indicated. Number two is the illnesses and injuries. The following conditions should be reported to the management so that any afflicted person need to subject themselves to medical examination and be excluded from handling food. A. Diseases of the respiratory tract, such as common cold, sore throat, pneumonia, scarlet fever, tuberculosis, and trench mouth. Respiratory tract infections spread microorganisms such as staphylococci, which are indigenous to portions of respiratory tract. Letter B, intestinal disorders such as dysentery, typhoid fever, and infectious hepatitis. People suffering from intestinal disorders usually shed a lot of intestinal bacteria such as Shigella and Salmonella which may be transmitted to food by dirty hands. A person suffering from salmonellosis, for example, may shed as many 10 cells per gram of feces during illness. Number 3 is the personal cleanliness. Food handlers should maintain a high degree of personal cleanliness. They should wear suitable protective clothing, head covering, gloves, facial mask, and footwear. Suitable waterproof dressing should cover cuts and wounds wherein personal are permitted to continue working. The following are the processor's outfit as part of personal hygiene. Apron, gloves, and hairnet. Face mask, hand towel, and working shoes. Proper hand washing technique. First, use water as hot as hands can comfortably stand or use potable water. Number two, moisten hands, soap thoroughly, and lather to elbow. Number three, scrub thoroughly using brush for nails for 20 seconds. Number four, rub hands together using friction for 20 seconds. Number 5, rinse thoroughly under running water. Number 6, be careful not to touch anything that recontaminates the hands before returning to work. Number 7, dry hands using single service towels, tissue paper, or hot air dryer. Number 8, if necessary, use disinfectant to sanitize thoroughly such as 70% ethanol. 
personnel should always wash their hands when personal cleanliness may affect food safety as shown in the following practices. A. At the start of food handling activities. B. Immediately after using the toilet. C. After handling raw food or any contaminated material where this could result in the contamination of other food items. They should avoid handling ready-to-eat food when ensure of cleanliness is the process of preparing it. People engaged in food handling activities should refrain from behavior that could result in food contamination, such as the following smoking, spitting, chewing or eating, sneezing or coughing over unprotected food, personal effects such as jewelry, pins or other items should not be worn or brought into food handling areas if they pose a threat to the safety and suitability of the food. Visitors Visitors in food manufacturing, processing, or handling areas should also wear protective clothing and adhere to the other personal hygiene provisions of the company. Entrance and exit in a workplace To avoid confusion where to enter and exit, there should be entrance and exit signs in the workplace. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.